Welcome to Fisher Toolbox Talk Training. In this session, we will be demonstrating correct installation procedures of tow control expansion anchors, such as Fisher FAZ2 or FBN2 anchors. Otherwise, they might be referred to as a bolt anchor or through bolts. FAZ2 is available in uh, different sizes, starting from M6 up to M24 in zinc, stainless steel, and also high corrosion resistant stainless steel. It shall be used only in concrete. Don't use it in masonry material. FAZ2 offers ETA option 1 assessment, so it's suitable for crack concrete. It also has ICC, American approval, and also has shock rating, seismic C1 and C2 rating. It also benefits from two hour fire resistance classification. We can also offer Reduce embedment FAZ, FAZK, which is our short uh, FAZ anchor uh, available with shallow embedment depths, which allows you to do value engineering, saving on material cost and also installation time due to reduced drilling. Prior to any installation, make sure you have correct anchor as specified for the job. To specify anchor correctly and very easily, you can use Fisher. CFIX design software, which is a fantastic tool. And the software will also identify what is the required effective embedment depth. So double check that and make sure that you have the correct length anchor used for a job. Otherwise, you might be reducing the embedment depth and in that case, reducing the load bearing capacity. Also observe what is your fixture thickness. In, if you have any shims, packing, that has to be added to the fixture thickness and that might affect uh, the length of the anchor which you need to install. One important point as well, if you are measuring uh, effective embedment depth, that is measured from the bottom of the expansion clip not to the bottom of the anchor. FAZ2, thanks to well-designed expansion clip, has very superior performance. Uh, sometimes you can uh, reduce embedment depths and still achieve a very high load capacity against uh, competitors. Uh, we also offer value engineering where you don't have the fixed embedment depths. For example, 10 mil FAZ can be designed with embedment depths ranging from 40 to 60 millimeter. So again, offer you the freedom in your design. We offer also six mil diameter FAZ, which has been the first worldwide anchor with ETA option one approval. Thanks to well-designed expansion clip, we also offer very competitive minimum edge and axial spacing. For example, for this size, FAZ 1010, the minimum edge distance is 45 millimeters and minimum axial spacings are 40 mil, very competitive values. And before you start an installation, make sure you have correct installation accessories. By the way, you don't need to use a blowout pump if you are using hollow drill bit with Fisher Vac. All information for the installers is provided also on a packaging. On a box, you will find information of all correct installation accessories and also correct installation procedures. Before you start, also make sure you have correct PPE. So I'll be installing FAZ 1010 with specified effective embedment depths of 60 millimeters. So with regards to position of the fixing, make sure that fixing is installed at least 45 millimeter from the edge and also double check your drill bit is not worn. So double check for any worn marks. We drill 85 mm into concrete as per specification on a packaging. We have to remove the drilling debris, so for that we'll be using this uh, blow pump. The cap will help to contain the dust away from the installer, so it will deflect any debris from the hole towards the surface of the concrete. Now, FAZ 1010, maximum fixture thickness is 10 mm. So make sure you are not above this limit. If you are using any packing, make sure the total fixture is up to 10 mm. Otherwise, the embedment depth 
will be reduced. And now we will be inserting the fixing simply using the hammer. If you have narrow spaces, you can also use SDS setting tool. Now we have to expand the fixing using calibrated torque wrench to, and we have to expand it to 45 newton meters. So we achieved the correct installation torque. So that means the fixing has been set correctly, hasn't been overstressed, and we have correct clamping force applied to the fixture. Always refer to correct installation torque published because uh, some anchors have different values, even though they are same diameter and same length, different values can apply. Sometimes after installation, you have to double check whether the correct anchor has been installed. And you can double check that just looking at the marking on top of the anchor. We have the letter marking and you can see here. And with that marking, you can identify what anchor length has been installed. So you can double check whether fixing has sufficient effective embedment depth. So quick summary about correct installation procedures. Make sure you have the correct anchor, which was specified, correct type, correct lengths. For drilling, make sure you have the correct drill bit, PJ marked, and it's not worn. Double check for worn mark. You need to have hammer, blowout pump. You have to clean the hole correctly. If you are using hollow drill bits, you don't have to clean a hole. When you are inserting the anchor, make sure you are not reducing embedment depth, otherwise load will be reduced. And you have to apply specified installation torque using calibrated torque wrench. For any further information, contact Fisher Technical Helpline on 01491 827 920 or go to our Fisher website, www.fisher.co.uk or download Fisher Professional app. Thank you for watching.